Good morning, everyone. This is Lola with Flick of the Wrist or LolaWrist.com. I'm known by both of them. And we are doing our Facebook Live today. I'm coming a couple minutes early because I've been having issues trying to get everything connected. Facebook, Facebook and Lola don't sometimes connect here. And um, I prefer to do everything on my phone. I don't know how many of you guys are phone people, but I, I do probably 90% of my business on the phone. But nonetheless, I got Facebook going on my iPad, not one iPad, but two. Can you call me OCD? Yes, I am. I have two iPads going in case one doesn't work. I've got the second one. Hey, Nancy, it's nice to have you with us. And good morning, Jana. How are you girls today? It is a dreary day here. Kinda. Well, it's just not pretty. And that's okay, because I have so much to work to do in the house that that's where I have to focus. So I'm trying to see if I can find the video, if it's pulled up yet. It's not pulling up on that iPad. So let me see if I can get it on this one. So we had a busy day yesterday with, and this one's not pulling up. You wait, I'll have to have my laptop out yet. We changed routers last week and moved some stuff around. And so when that happened, all of my iPad stuff, and I think there it is, all my iPads had to go back and be reset. And then I had to open up everything back on Facebook. And it's like, whoo, that's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. So we're gonna do an easel card today. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the new catalog and I cannot open it. You have to know that we are not allowed to open it but we can sure take a nice close-up look at it to see what's out there. So give me a minute, and then we're gonna get on this easel card that is a fun little card. Just a minute. All right, having some issues with this, but I think we got it. There. See if that works. So I am in the process of putting up Christmas trees. Kind of the uh, the OCD in me, I'd like to have them up decorated before Thanksgiving. I like my trees up so that we enjoy them at Thanksgiving and we also enjoy them at Christmas. So we are in, this is looks really very calm right here. But if you could see everything in my house right now, it is a hot cluttered mess. But we'll get there before Wednesday, before Thursday. Okay, so I wanted a close up picture so you can see what's out there and what's coming. This year, it's all about springtime. Look at the really, really neat windmill die that's coming and beautiful stamp sets and papers that are coming. I love this field of tulips here. Just watercolored tulips. Really, really pretty. Um, pastel colors are big and hot this year. We've got some gold enamel butterflies, I think is what they call them. And they're little adhesive gold butterflies that are going to be so cute to have on things. We've got a pretty ribbon here that goes through. Now let's turn it over see what else we got. More tulips. And if you look, these are really more traditional tulips. I know we have a tulip and we have a tulip punch, but that's pretty, I mean, they're pretty, but they're pretty elementary -ish until you see this set. And the dyes that are coming with it, look at, I don't know if you can see that, that tulip, how much more realistic they are. Really, really pretty. Colors this year, a lot of pool party, granny apple green, Flirty Flamingo, Petal Pink. Those are the, the hot colors. I don't know what that one is. I would assume maybe So Saffron, okay? All right, so we set the catalog off to the side. So that gives you an idea of what's coming. Tulips and windmills. Then there's also a celebration coming out for January and February. January and February celebration is made up of daffodils, there's an awesome, beautiful daffodil set that's coming in the catalog, and they have this beautiful daffodil paper. 
Um, you can see there's some rainbows with kid looking paper coming out. Uh, on the stamp set, it says driving by. So it's a celebration stamp set that's got some vehicles on it and more butterflies. This gives you a little bit better look. This is a Hello Friend and it comes with um, the stamp set and the DSPs that you see here. It's a hundred dollar item that if you had a hundred dollar order, you have um, a stamp set and the DSP. But you'll notice again, those pretty colors, flirty flamingo, petal pink, pool party, granny apple green, highland heather, just very, very pretty colors. And that's all I can show you. I wish I could show you more, but I can't. So because I am on my old iPad now, Okay, there's some coming. Hi, Rosemary. Keeping you in my thoughts and prayers. I hope things go well with you. Um, Rosemary is getting ready to start some treatments and some surgery. And Jamie Sue, it's nice to have you with us. Hi, Vicki Dimmitt. Got a good group here today. So I came in. We had the Chiefs game last night. And then we got home at 9 o'clock, and we were still, even though we were tired physically, we were still wound, and so we watched the game again. Who doesn't watch the game twice in one day? So we watched it, only fast-forwarded it. And we, uh, as I was doing that, I'm trying to think, what the heck am I going to do today? So I had found a fun fold that I wanted to try, and it's called an easel card. I have not got one completely finished yet. This is the start of it. I got this much done in case I mess it up. So here we go. We're going to go on ahead and get started with it. You're going to need a piece of cherry cobbler. And it's the normal size of eight and a half by five and a half. You score it or fold it at four and a quarter. And let me reach over here and get my bone folder. So, how many of you have people coming for Thanksgiving? I know some people have people coming. Some people go and do Thanksgiving meals at other locations, at restaurants and things. I know that um, some people celebrate Thanksgiving on the weekend instead or have already had it with their family. So, all right. I got to pay attention now because this needs to have a tricky cut and a score line to make it work right. We are going to, it's folded, and I have my fold at the top. Fold at the top, and I am going to cut vertically in the middle at two and three quarters because it's five and a half. So I'm going to turn this on its side. I opened it up. This is my old cutter. I like it. I, it's, it's that OCD. It's what you used to. It's what you used to. Oh, that's awesome, Jonna. Sarah and husband will be with you, Sarah and Tim. That's great. That's great. It's just nice to gather. And we've done that too when our kids couldn't be home. And we just gathered with a, a couple of other couples who were unable to be with family. And that's fun too. All right. So here I am at two and three quarters. And I'm going to start my cut. And I'm going to, have to turn this sideways so I can see. I'm going to cut at the four, four, and three, four and a quarter, I mean, right here. I'm going to start at the fold, and I'm going to cut this way, okay? So what happens is now I have a piece that will fold up and flap, okay? Okay? All right, let's raise this up just a hair. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to open this flap up on the left and I'm going to turn it over sideways on the back side. I'm going to get my cutting blade out and this is four and a quarter. But I want it to be measured, I want a score line in the middle. So since it's four and a quarter, I'm going to go to the two and an eighth mark. I'm gonna put this down, and now I'm gonna score two and an eighth. And this is what I have. 
And that should be even to what I have over here. So we are in good shape. I think I'm going to hopefully get two cards out of this at Facebook Live. All right. Before I go any farther, I want this piece on the right. I want it completely down. I don't want it to be able to pop up. It is going to stay down all the way. So I'm going to put adhesive. And then I'm going to run a couple on the sides just so that I've got good adhesive so it'll stay completely down. All right. And I'm going to fold it and down it goes. Now this one does not, this iPad doesn't show me quite as much comments and things. So I have to, oh, there they are. So maybe they come and go. All right, brass brushed butterflies. That's almost a tongue twister. Brass but brushed butterflies. That's hard to say. All right, I'm gonna use the Painted Christmas DSP, which, you know, some people really liked it and some people didn't care for it. I, I liked it. I liked it. I just haven't used it a lot. I've got two more packets in there. So this may have to become maybe a, a greeting card for my customers or something. I don't know. I just, I really like it. I really like this piece. So I'm going to take this piece and it is at two and five eighths by four and one eighth. And I'm going to put it on the far right where I have just put the other piece of the flap down. It's just gonna go on here like so. Okay, I will not be posting the um, directions here, but I will post a link to my blog. I will be putting that on here in a little bit and it will be on my blog and it'll have all the information that you need on that. Okay, and then I took a piece of white cardstock. It is the very same measurements. Two and five eighths by four and an eighth and it's going over here. Uh, that doesn't look even enough to me that I want to see if I can pull it off. So it's hard to see when you got that line in the middle too. I can deal with that better. All right. So there's this piece. Okay. Now I have on the front flap, we're gonna decorate it and I'm gonna put two pieces of DSP that I cut. Hang loose, I'll get it straightened out here in a second. There are two pieces of DSP that are in that packet. One is, um, in fact, both of them are two and five eighths by two. And I'm gonna put one here and here. I'm going to go on ahead and reverse it, I think, on this one. Since I have this one, this is the piece that will show more because it's going to come up as an easel. So I think this time I'll flip them. Now, I didn't care for the ornaments on the back. That was too weird for me. Those, those don't do a thing for me. So I'm going to put this one here. And then I'm going to put this one above. I do like that, though. Isn't that beautiful? Their images of their DSP, several years ago, they started designing with watercolor artists. And, oh, my gosh, they have such beautiful DSPs now. Okay. So there's the basic of the card. And then when you fold it, there's your easel. But it will hold a lot better when I'm done with it, okay? All right, so we're going to set that aside. I'm going to bring our mat in. I'm going to go on ahead, and I need an emblem that's going to be on, the t on my front. So I'm going to take this one, and this is from, you guys get what's on my paint table at this, not paint table, sorry, I used to paint. You get what's on my craft table, and right now I'm in the middle of, I just posted a Christmas tag class, I designed it right before we left for the Chiefs game. Um, I designed it on Saturday and posted it. And so this is part of my, my Christmas tag cake class, and it was on my desk. So this is what we're getting. We're going to take the um, Tidings and Trimmings stamp set. 
I just needed a greeting that would fit on the inside of this. So this one is one that says, may your days be merry and bright. I'm gonna put on this piece and I'm gonna use that in Cherry Cobbler. Right in the middle. Like so. Looking for comments. This is where it helps having Pam because we we are able to help each other with the comments usually. Sometimes we're a hot mess, but okay, so there's that. And then I'm gonna take the um evergreen bow that's in the painted Christmas stamp set. And I'm just gonna put some evergreens around this. Not gonna try and fill it up or anything, just gonna try to put a few boughs in there so that you can see some pines. Like so. This is a fast card, gals. All right, now we're gonna take another one of these cherry cobbler pieces. I have cut the um, from the hippo dies. Last week would have been a great time if you didn't want the hippos, but you wanted the dies. This would have been a good time to pick this set up because it has some great little labels in it. I'm gonna cut it in the middle, which is one of my favorite little tricks that I first learned. And I thought that was the snazziest thing to dress up a label. And you can do it so many times. Okay, I keep turning it. It's that way. It's gonna run across and run across. I'm gonna take half of it and I'm just gonna pull that down just a hair underneath. And I'm gonna do the same with the top. So it just gives it a little red cherry cobbler trim on the side. I thought I had, you know, it was like sliced bread. When I learned that I could dress those up, I thought, Whoa! all right. I sometimes don't like the little corners sticking out, so I sometimes cut them. Have to be careful they don't cut too far in. So, you know, now that I, as an adult, and having worked with so many kids over the years, I now know that I have multiple labels that should have been attached to me as a kid. I am hyper, can you not tell that? I should be ADA, I should be hyperactive, and I am OCD because I want everything lined up perfect and everything else. Now this is where I gotta be tricky because I don't want it to be adhered here. I wanna be able to pop it up so I have to only put adhesive on the bottom, okay? So I'm only gonna adhere down and below. You could do, um, you could do dimensionals if you wanted. I think that would work. This would be an easy card to do if you had DSP that you wanted to get rid of. Johnny, you love to use up all the little scraps of your DSP. This would work. Little pieces that you could go with. Okay, so we've got that, but we don't have it where it will stand up. It won't hold up, so let's fix that. So now we're gonna take a piece of basic white, and it is going to be two and five eighths by four and one eighth. Is that right? No, I read it wrong, just a second. Two and five eighths by one and three eighths, okay? And I'm gonna put that off here to the side, and I'm gonna stamp a greeting on the inside that says, cheers from our house to yours. This is from the um, tidings and trimmings set. Cheers from our house to yours. And then I want some berries. 
I want some of the little berries to show. So I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna take the little berry branch and set it here. And I'm gonna put another one here. See, OCD, opposites, it's gotta be in a certain spot. And then I'm gonna take the berries that are on here And I'm gonna go on ahead, and they will line up, but this may be tricky. They will line up if you put them in such a way. You just gotta figure out how they're gonna line up. So let's play. I think I've got it, but let's play just in case. So let me slide this up here. So I'm gonna put this here. There is one berry that's up in the air, and I would assume that one will be here. I don't think everything lines up with a stem, however. That didn't work, so let's try again. Sometimes you just have to play with these things to figure out which one goes where. And maybe that will work. And sometimes you don't know positively. You just play. That didn't work. This could be crafting on the fly with Lola. I still think this is the top, this one little berry. And it is not going to line up perfect, but that one I could live with. I think that's how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna go on ahead and put those berries on here. I'm gonna put another one. Over here. And then I'm gonna come in with some evergreen pieces. And I'm using, by the way, ink-wise, I'm using Cherry Cobbler and um, Evening Evergreen. Okay. I'm gonna come up here, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna put a little branch of greenery up there on the top of my card. Let's get that gone, and let's close up the ink, and we are not too far from being done. So now we're gonna turn around, and we're going to take another piece of cardstock, which is Cherry Cobbler. And the cherry cobbler is two and five eighths by one and a half. And we're gonna go on ahead and take our greeting that we just did, and we're gonna tape it on top. And it will only have a mat of cherry cobbler. You'll have a line above and a line below. The white goes all the way across so that it's the full size of the cherry cobbler. So let's put this down. Okay, like so, and it goes all the way to the bottom, but I'm gonna go on ahead and put it with dimensionals, I believe, because I think then it will lay flatter and, and lay better. Here's my dimensionals. I think the easel will work better. So I'm gonna put this here, like so. And then I'm gonna put that right at the bottom. So it's right lined up at the bottom with it. And now when you open it up, the easel will set. So I put the dimensionals only on the bottom piece. You could go on ahead and put dimensionals here. In fact, let's just do it. We can easily pull that off and put a couple of dimensionals there just to give a little more oomph to it. And we have my card. Just like so. 
And I think that is a fun, festive, cute card that would work for multiple things like greeting, like birthdays, little birthday. You could even do, if you wanted, you could do a birthday if you could do figure out calendar and you could put a little calendar piece over to the side if they would fit that piece. And that way then you could just tear the calendar off or um, little sticky notes, two pads, whatever, if somebody wanted it for their desk. But is that not cute? There is my card, guys. Let's put a little bling on it and we are done. And I... I'm tickled with that. Let's put, um, I've been using the holiday rhinestones. So let's put a couple of pieces of those. This is cherry cobbler. I'm gonna just put a couple of pieces on them. And I am all done. What would you think? Did you like that? I will do more of these. This is a fun card. Main thing that you have to remember is the fold has to be at the top. You cut it. You score it. And then you cut down the middle with your paper cutter from four and a half, four and a quarter. And you're going across at two and three quarters. Then everything sizes based on that. And this one here, you score at two and one eighth. So there's my card for today. I hope you enjoyed that card. Let me see if I've got anybody else here going. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving season. I hope that you have time with family, with friends, I hope you have some time to enjoy resting or decorating, whatever you love to do. I hope that you can do that for yourself this week. Know that I am so very thankful for each and every one of you that have come into my life. And I will tell you that so many of you have come into my life because of stamping. So many. I have, I have people that are here for my church family. I have people like Jonna. We taught together, oh my gosh, Jonna, 35 years ago. We have connections that we have connected and then we lose touch for a few years and then we're back. Stampin' Up! has brought this into my life and because of that, Stampin' Up! has brought you to me. Thank you. Have a wonderful, blessed Thanksgiving and know that I treasure each of you. Happy Thanksgiving and God bless.